Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Monday of the 11th week in Ordinary Time. Listen, thank you so much for joining in this afternoon. How about yesterday? Wasn't that an amazing Corpus Christi procession? Please, if you did not tap into our uh, Facebook or website or YouTube channel, please do so to watch the amazing live stream of the Corpus Christi procession. It was amazing and beautiful. And guess what? We're going to make this a tradition at St. Mary's Church. Every year on the Solemnity of Corpus Christi, which happens around this time, because it's uh, Pentecost Sunday, Trinity Sunday, Corpus Christi Sunday. So it's all around that time. So it's a beautiful, beautiful devotion to understand what the Eucharist is, who is the Eucharist, and how Jesus walks with us in our community, in our lives, where we walk, where we live, where we break bread in our own homes, how Jesus is present in our midst. You'll be hearing that quote from Pope Benedict shortly. We'll put some things on our website. Look for that quote that I'm speaking about. I love it. Also, if you have any videos or pictures, would you email them to Susan Rodzowitz here at churchofstmary.org? I think she's S-R-O-D-Z at churchofstmary.org. How do I know all these things? I don't know. My brain is going to like <laughs> fall out information. But anyway, that's her email, S-R-O-D-Z at churchofstmary.org. Spell the word saint out. Uh, and that's her email. Would you send her some pictures and some of your videos? She's our graphic designer. She also helps me with IT. She also did the video yesterday. So Susan Rodzowitz. So you all know her. So I'm so grateful to her and her team and Kathy Wisniewski and her team, Dylan for letting us use the truck, Peggy Hinson for helping us decorate it was all a beautiful community effort. And all of you outside waiting for Jesus, you know, kneeling there. You know, we can truly say that Christ, the bread of life, has come to our neighborhood. I was saying that to um, Deacon Don because he uh, administered or performed the second benediction. You know, in the, in the Corpus Christi procession, there are three benedictions, right? So we had one here on the campus, parking lot A, A by the annex building. That's how you can remember what's parking lot A. I only tell you this because sometimes I say these things and you might say to yourself, where's parking lot A? Well, parking lot A is right in front of the annex building and parking lot B is right next to the pond. And the auxiliary lot is across the road where our church used to be. So there are three major parking lots. Well, anyway, we started right there in parking lot A, maybe near the, the Blessed Mother Monument. You know that big monument next to the church? There we did the first prayer service and benediction. Then we went and we traveled. And then we came to Willowbrook Avenue, Deacon Don and Linda Street and they had a beautiful amount of people gathered. I was so happy that everybody gathered around that cul-de-sac. That was perfect, perfect. And we had given Don the incenser ahead of time and he had already dressed in his alb and stole his deacon outfit and he looked beautiful as he always does. And uh, he proclaimed the gospel and he said the prayer and I handed him the Luna. Now the Luna, as you know, gets his word from moon, Luna. I take the Luna out of the monstrance and I handed it to him. I didn't hand him the monstrance because believe me, when you're on a truck and you have a portable altar, that monstrance is tightly secured. That monstrance was going nowhere. It was staying right there, <laughs> believe me. And sometimes we, we hit it kind of like a bump nothing. It was there. So thank you guys for securing the portable altar and 
the monstrance on the altar and decorating it. It was beautiful. Well, anyway, Deacon Don had the second benediction. And then we went through the neighborhood and neighborhood and we came back to church two and a half hours later and we had the third benediction in church. So there's always three benedictions, okay? So next year, we'll talk about who's gonna host the benediction on their cul-de-sac. And, um, cause I think I'm not gonna do the first one here. I, I wanna do both of them, the two benedictions, number one and two, out in the community. I'll do the third one in church because we have to. It's kind of required. The third, the last one is to be in the parish church. So that's a set. But number one and number two benedictions, we'll do on someone's cul-de-sac because I'd rather do one on a cul-de-sac. You know why? Because it's secured for traffic and there's no, nobody going to interfere with it. It was perfect yesterday. How about the weather? Did you love that weather yesterday? I loved it. It was perfect. I'm telling you, I'm sitting on that truck. And, and I thought, you know, many people say, Father, you okay there? Are you secured? Oh, I was secured in there. I wasn't going anywhere. I was like really secured. And it was beautiful. The only time I was like, ooh, we're going down the hill. Did you ever see Squirrel, Squirrel Hill Road? Ooh, it's like Spring Mountain. It's like, mm. but I was there. I mean, I have a big support system here to hold me, right? You know, so it was just beautiful. The, the sun was coming through the trees. I was sitting down in that chair on that truck. And I thought, this is one of the most beautiful parts of my priesthood. So I want to share that with you. I was riding in a truck with Jesus Christ. And it was he and I alone for the drive. And I had a two hour ride with him two and a half hour ride with him. How amazing to have Jesus in a truck with you and you and he conversing with one another. And you may think, what did he say to you? It's all, it's all mental prayer. It's all meditation from the heart. I was praying my rosary. I got two rosaries in. I, I sang hymns. I was just, just having the time of my life I was like, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunt. There I am singing in the truck. You know, maybe the Dylan was probably saying, what's, what's that singing? I don't know, maybe he, he thought, did Father lose it? No, I was just having a grand old time. I thought I was doing intercessory prayer. Lord, bless our parish. Bless our people. God bless all of you. But it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. So stay tuned for next year, please, for the annual Corpus Christi Mobile on the road procession out into the neighborhoods. So we try to get as a lot of neighborhoods as possible. And thank you for making signs. I was looking at your signs and your tables. I love you guys. You're so good. You're so good. I really mean that. And the bags of rose petals and your prayer intentions and throwing them or strewing them before our Lord of the Blessed Sacrament. How touching was that? So all of that just inspires me, I'm telling you, in a beautiful way. One little girl I heard, you know, it's Jesus. And I thought to myself, yes, it is. Yes, it is Jesus. Here he is. But just to hear a little girl blurt that out, shout that out. It's Jesus. You're right. It is Jesus in the most blessed sacrament. It was so nice also, our, as you know, our staff and our friends who were in the procession with me, we couldn't have a lot. So we tried it. We talked to the township and we talked to people, of course, before we did this. But we had a lead car, then we had the Dylan's truck, you know, and the portable altar, and uh, we had the monstrous, and then we had that decorated, and then we had the presider's chair, or the priest chair, and then they put a little, Kathy put a little cooler in for three or four waters, just in case, and then she had um, for me um, 
some wet wet cloth, uh, you know, washcloths. I didn't know that word, washcloth and towels, just in case. But I didn't use anything. It was so cool because when you're when you're driving, the wind is. I, I put thirty block on just in case because I didn't want to get burned. Because someone, Father King said, make sure you put sunscreen on because you're going to be on that chair going for a while. Because I didn't even think of sunscreen. Thanks, Father Keen. So he says to me before I left the house to come to church, he said, put sunscreen on. And I said, that's a good idea. So I did. And I don't, I don't think I got any burn. So I'm, I'm glad I did that. So it was really nice. It was nice that we had the people in the front and then we had the car and then we had uh, a couple, about three cars behind me. So I think... Kathy and the team wanted about just five cars. That's about it. Uh, because, you know, we have to go through traffic lights. We have to go through stop signs. We have to be careful. And we're not a funeral procession. We're carrying the risen Jesus. <laughs> not a dead Jesus. A risen Jesus. So we can't make this like a funeral procession, right? So it was all just delightful. Can you tell, like, I'm so overwhelmed with it? Oh, just to see all of you out there in different places on your street corners. And even like I said to you, just go, if, if we're not passing your street, go ride to someone's street. Park your car and just say, hey, you mind if I stay with you guys? What, what are they going to say? No. Of course, come on. You know, enjoy the, the beauty of the faith. You know, these things can't die. These traditions can't die. Our faith is built upon a living faith, a living tradition, capital T, not small t, capital T, May procession, Corpus Christi processions, 40 hours, novenas. Of course, we have mass every single day. We have confessions every week, baptisms, weddings, funerals, absolutely. But these devotional types of sentiments of faith are very important for the heart. They lead us closer to an appreciation of Jesus. And by taking Jesus out on the road, many people are like, hmm, interesting. I wonder what they're doing. And then somebody may say, oh, I think they're taking the monstrance with the host you know, I'm just putting it in their words. The monstrance in the, with the host out in the street. You know, but now you say, yes, we're, we're having a Eucharistic procession because it's Corpus Christi Sunday. And we believe that Christ is present in the Blessed Sacrament. See, it's a conversation of faith. That's how people get to know and are drawn closer to our Lord. By your conversation. We call that evangelization, but... You know what evangelization is. This is evangelization. Let's talk. You know, get your coffee, get a drink, talk to people and say, hey, listen, you know, have you had your baby baptized yet? Are you getting your marriage blessed? I, you know, I know that you got married by a judge. Are you going to get, you know, your marriage blessed by a priest in the sacrament? Hey, your mom died. Are you uh, having a funeral mass for her? This is what it's all about. This is where the rubber hits the road. It's all about you being evangelist. You know, here I am a priest, a Catholic pastor of a parish, but you're the pastors of your homes. You're the ones who are to bring the faith to people, to make it alive. You're to share it. Don't hide your faith. Like, oh, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not, no, just say, oh, I'm so sorry that your mom died. Are you having your, your the Mass at St. Mary's? You know, where she's being buried. I would like to give... You know, send you a mass card. Well, what's a mass card? Then you could talk about that. Oh, do you think I should have a funeral mass? Yes. Prayers for your mom, for her immortal soul? Absolutely. It's to benefit your mother and to the beautiful realms of heaven. Absolutely. Talk about marriage and the sacrament of marriage. Talk about baptism and the sacrament of baptism. Get excited about your child's first Holy Communion. Get excited about confirmation. 
When is the faith exciting to you? All the time. So let's share it. Hey, did you see the uh, decals on the side of the car? Oh, I love them. Susan, our graphic designer, did that as well. She, uh, she designed um, the uh, parish crest. You know, one faith, one family, one spirit. You know, our motto. Well, and you know how we have the four quadrants of images on, in, on the shield? Beautiful, beautiful. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. It's beautiful. Our parish seal and our parish crest. And we had them made uh, in, uh, of course, decals, magnetic decals that went on either side of the vehicles, the, uh, the driver's side and the passenger side. I was uh, sending some of these photos to some of my priest friends. And one of my priest friends said to me this morning, he said, like, who designed that for you? Because he knows, like, that just doesn't, like, parishes just don't have that. And I said, well, one of the ladies on our staff happens to be a graphic designer. And I thought, and he thought, wow. And I said, yeah, and she designed it. And, of course, um, we had that put on the cars in a magnetic decal. So we could just peel it off, and then we reuse it for another procession or another time when we're doing something. So it was a lot of that stuff, everyone coming together. Oh, I forgot to, you know, mention, remember, if you have any birthdays or anniversaries or special celebrations, please tell me. Yesterday, I did not do the afternoon reflection because we were out on the road. Uh, we, I think we, uh, of course, taped the uh, third benediction in church, you know, the bigger one. And uh, Susan did all of that. But I wanted to do a shout out to Jen Palmer. That was her birthday yesterday on the Solemnity of Corpus Christi. Hey, Jen! Jen Palmer is a lovely young woman in our parish, and she celebrated her birthday yesterday. So many blessings to you, Jen, and many more. May God continue to bless you. So we had a big celebration yesterday. It was very, very nice. I really, uh, I really enjoyed it very, very much. So I can't say enough about uh, thanking you and thanking Almighty God. So please send. That's our coffee pot going off. Okay, you're done? Good. So please send um, Susan Rodzowitz at, it's S-R-O-D-Z, at Church of Saint, spelled out, S-A-I-N-T, Mary, dot org. Any pictures, videos? Susan helps to design all that and our web administrator, Lisa Roberts. So it's all good, good stuff. So we're very, very pleased about that. Also, um, just wanted to give you a shout out to remind you about our upcoming St. Mary Feast in the second weekend of September. Mm -hmm. We have a beautiful feast celebration. Uh, our parish is called St. Mary period. <laughs> we are not St. Mary of or Our Lady of, which is kind of a nicety. You know why? Because every year we honor her with another title. We as the parish picked the title. Since we are just St. Mary, we're like, okay, what we're going to do next year? What are we going to, what are we going to uh, name our parish uh, feast day next year? So this year is Our Lady Guadalupe. So we're having, we're honoring Our Lady Guadalupe on the September feast this year. And then we'll announce later what the following novena would be for next year. So that's, that's kind of exciting. So on our feast, we have, we're having a, a, a wonderful raffle. It's a big deal. And I want to promote this if you can. Uh, because we're not there yet. We're getting all of our sales because of this pandemic. So I understand but I just want to push it today, if you don't mind. So if you could write down this note for yourself to turn in your uh, Bonanza raffle. It is $100 a ticket, but the top prize is $10,000. $10,000 is the top prize. The second prize is $5,000, and I believe the third prize is $2,500. And then there's 
the seller's prize for each of those categories. Unbelievable, beautiful. I mean, I've been selling tickets. My, I, mean, I went out to dinner with somebody and he said, well, Father, give me, give me a ticket, I'll buy it. I'll buy a ticket. So he gave me the money for it right there. And then his wife was there and she says, I want my own. So she, she bought one and he paid for it. <laughs> and then during the conversation and the meal, his son calls. So his son's also my chiropractor. So his son calls and, you know, I'm from with Father Bill Peavy. And, um, you know, we're just talking and uh, his dad says, hey, do you want to buy one of these Bonanza raffle tickets? Top prize is $10,000. He goes, okay, buy one for me and I'll give you the money. I sold three tickets that night. Isn't that beautiful? And I, I forget how many I bought. I bought, I, I bought a couple, but I, I don't put my name on it because it's just, you know, people say it's fixed, it's fixed, but I, I want to participate in it. So, but anyway, I think, you know, it's a good kind of a thing and it supports this beautiful place we call home. So if you don't mind, would you turn in your Bonanza rifle? And if you could try to sell one in addition to yours, that would be great. And I hope, I wish you the best of luck, the best of luck. And we'll have a big celebration in September, the second weekend of September. I hope we could do it then. It depends on where we are. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to say anything about like, oh, we're definitely going to have the feast because it's going to be the second week of September. By that time, all this will be over. I'm not going to tell you that. But I'm going to tell you that's what we're planning for. But I'm not going to say it's going to happen. We're going to just wait and see, okay? Okay. Because I don't want you to be disappointed and I don't want to get myself disappointed. Because I'm sometimes I'm like a little kid. I like I, all this excitement. I love it. It's all good stuff, don't you think? So we're, we're planning on that as well. So please keep up to date with the website. Would you check our website regularly and look at our uh, Facebook? And are you on our YouTube account? We only have about what? 25 or even less than 25 uh, more subscribers and we reached the 1,000 mark. Can you believe that? When we started this pandemic, we had five subscribers. And we thought to ourselves, how are we going to get to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube? We're at 900 and almost 80. Isn't that beautiful? We have 20 some left to go. And that's it. And we could do amazing things and reach a wide audience with YouTube when we have a thousand subscribers. We just need 21, 22 more subscribers and we're there. We're there. So spread the word. Tell people to check us out. Check out our website. Check out our YouTube, our different events and things like that. And that would be wonderful. Again, Thank you very much, everyone, for a beautiful Corpus Christi procession. Thank you for your love, your faith, your generosity, and your kindness to this beautiful place that we call home, St. Mary Parish. Have a nice day, everybody.